What's up? It's Miss Cameron and Mrs. Rocha. We have a fun in the sun video for you today. We have been brainstorming different ideas on how we can get outside more. And last week we did solar crayons, or the week before that we did solar crayons. Last week we did homemade butter. That was not outside, but we've really been wanting to get outside more. So what we have in store for you today is we are going to do an egg drop, but with water balloons. So what we're gonna be doing is we have three pieces of felt, two probably six inch by six inch um, bubble wrap pieces, three pieces of foam, and then three rubber bands. And what we're gonna be doing is we are going to be taking our water balloons. We're not gonna be throwing them at anybody if that's what you came here for, sorry. Um, but we are going to be see if we can use these materials to keep this from popping. We're going to be dropping them from a ladder, but we want to explain the science behind this and how this is going to be working. So we're going to start off with a person named Sir Isaac Newton, and he has so many titles and so many accomplishments that Miss Cameron couldn't memorize them all, so she had to write them down. So I'm just going to start out with just a few things that he has accomplished. So first of all, he's a mathematician. He invented calculus. I only took pre-calculus, that's the highest level of math I learned, and I had so many problems with that, so I can't even imagine like what actual calculus is, okay? He was a physicist, an astronomer, a theologian, and an author. So something that Sir Isaac Newton is famously known for within the curriculum and education of our whole world is he invented three laws, and the first law is what we are going to be using today whenever we drop these water balloons and so I will let Miss Rocha explain what the first law is. So back in Star Race we do an egg drop which is similar to this and we always uh, talk to kids about Isaac's first law of motion states that an object at rest will remain at rest or an object at motion will remain in motion unless an outside force acts upon it. So in this case um, the outside force is going to be either the grass or uh, the cement, whatever we choose to do. We might do both, we'll see. Um, so we have to apply that law into figuring out how we are going to cushion our water balloons. We need to name our water balloons. So yeah, we can draw them. We can draw faces. Yeah, we we can draw, draw faces. faces on the eggs at Star Race. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so um, yeah, we will go outside and test one without. And then one with me and Miss Cameron's creation. Uh, yeah, our creation. So we will see you out there. His name is Herman. I have a curl. <laughs> Her name is <laughs> Shelby. <laughs> Here's Miss Cameron's. Were you able to use every single pieces of your material? I was. Awesome. Little Herman's uh, cozy in there. Mine. I only did not use one piece of felt. All right, time to test. So we have Carla and Fred. Okay, these are gonna be our control. We're gonna. Drop them from, I'd say that's probably like 10 feet. -ish. I think that's less than 10 feet. <laughs> well, like, well, if you're going to be standing, standing on, it, on it, yeah, you're right. Like 10 ish feet. So we're going to drop it from 10 feet and see how Carla and Fred do from that height. All right. Let's do Fred first. One, two, three. 
Fred! Okay. <laughs> so that was Fred. Alright, let's see if Carla will go a little bit higher for Carla. One, two. So <laughs> they pop in the grass. They rolled over here. <laughs> Maybe we need to pop them on the grass. Okay. You learn as you go. Yep. Welcome to the videos with Miss Cameron and Miss Rose. <laughs> that he is in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get on the ladder and I'm going to drop it and we'll see if I can take the German enough to where he won't burst. One, two, three. Yay, he's safe. Ta-da! Herman's alive. Mm-hmm. Ooh, looks like she survived. She's alive. She's alive. All right, so Herman and Shelby are still alive. people to not get wet so this is what I get <laughs> thanks Malia elbows all right guys so this has been our fun in the sun video with water balloons so Herman and Shelby ended up making it through. So we had a 100% success rate because my balloon and Miss Rocha's balloon survived. So what we ended up doing was letting her wonderful children throw water balloons. And as you can see, we're a little bit um, distressed or like covered in water. So this has been our Pun in the Sun video. If you decide to do something like this at home, let us know. This is stuff you can really explore at home, Newton's Laws and things. So if you do anything like this, let us know. Take some pics, tag Starbase. We would love to see it. Is there anything I'm missing? Uh, no, I think that's it. Stay safe. Have fun. Yeah. Bye, guys.